All right, this is part two of the Andy Warhol lesson. Uh, what we've done so far is taken our paintbrush and we've started to create the lines that are going to go around the outer edges of the most important parts of our face. And we've also concentrated on the layers. We've been very specific in creating a layer with our image and a layer with just the lines that we're creating on top of the image. We don't want these lines that we're creating here uh, to be a part of the actual image here. So we're creating two separate layers. And we're going to take this layer and place it into a new document as soon as we're finished with it. And now what we're going to do next is we just finished the nose. Notice it's not perfect. Um, we can also come in and uh, draw some other feature lines of our face, which is what I'm going to continue to do right now. Uh, take your time, be as accurate as you can be, and when you're working with these smaller areas of your face, uh, you can work around the outer edges. Uh, we can uh, build things into this later and uh, make things look a little better later, and we're not so worried about uh, how the outlines look right now. Uh, what we want to be more concerned about is that we're accurate, fairly accurate in the way that we're drawing them and placing them on the face. Um, so just take your time, uh, don't go too fast, but uh, at the same time you, you, know, you, you don't have to go too slow. Um, we're simply just taking our time here, uh, creating our image, and if you find yourself going too fast and rushing through this, you will notice that your image is not going to come out as nice as you want. If you make a mistake, you make something too thin, too fat, whatever the case may be, uh, you can always go back and redraw. Uh, parts of the image. Now I'm going to work on the eyes here and I'm actually going to uh, zoom in just a bit so I'm going to grab my zoom tool here and I want to make sure it's set on the plus not the minus. Notice it's on the plus so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here right to the middle of the face and I'm going to uh, I'm going to go around the outer edges of the eye to give me a little more room so that I can grab another brush and draw the pupils and you can also uh, draw any other lines in that you want maybe aging lines, smile lines, things like that so I'm going to select my brush, notice it's still set on a three size uh, pixel in diameter and it's a very sharp edge, it's a 100 percent sharp brush in the hardness so let's go around the outer edge here um, I'm not going to go too slow uh, I want to get through this so that I can uh, move on to the next part of this for you and notice my hand jumped there so I'm going to go back and undo that it's actually something good to see there if your hand jumps a little bit you can always uh, go back and redraw an area um, I try to be as smooth as possible and uh, finish off these areas I'm drawing quickly so that we can get on to the next part of this lesson um, and you'll find that putting the lines into the eyes here uh, is probably the most difficult or tedious part of this lesson and now that I'm uh, gonna draw the pupil I'm gonna get a new brush a little bit smaller diameter I'm gonna type in the number two here um, just so that I can have a little bit thinner of a line when I create this and make sure that uh, I've got a nice round pupil here and there we go and if your hand jumps simply come back and redo that Notice I'm going from the top of my eye all the way down and around the bottom, touching just on that line at the bottom of the eye for my bottom eyelid, and there we go. And if you wanted to uh, add any lines like I'm doing here, you can always add a line. I'm just doing this for the for your benefit to to see you know any little extra lines that I may have. I can scroll down, uh, get my smile lines, the little smile lines I have here. Um, you may not have these lines um, so you don't have to put these in if you don't want to but if you do have them you certainly can go ahead and uh, put them in. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. Now if I wanted to I don't have to necessarily zoom out with the zoom tool. I can always use the quick keys on my keyboard by hitting the command key and holding it down while I hold down the minus key and zoom back out as often or as much as I want. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to open a new file and we're going to create a new document and what we're going to do here is you don't have to name this right away you can if you want to you can put your name here you could also title it Andy Warhol project which is what I'm going to do is just call it Andy project and notice the preset here for the size or uh, dimensions of my new canvas are a clipboard well we don't this is not the right uh, preset so we're going to change this by selecting uh, the default Photoshop size which is going to give us a, a normal eight and a half by eleven size canvas which is also the size of paper that we're going to print out with our printer so we're going to go with the default size and that's going to give us um, an excuse me a seven by uh, five height I was wrong we don't want to go with the default size we want to go with the US paper size eight and a half by eleven make sure it's in inches and that it says letter size there we go and now we'll say okay and now we've got this nice uh, letter size canvas and what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, our new document so that we can begin working uh, on this document here and when we begin working on this document we're going to create some outlines we're going to create four different sections we're going to create an outline that goes around the whole document and then we're going to create uh, lines that go through the middle vertically and horizontally of this document so that we can have four different sections on the top left the top right the bottom left and the bottom right so that we can put four separate images into those quadrants or those four sections the first thing we need to do of course is we need to unlock the lock here on this background layer we're going to double click on it as always and we're just going to select the OK button and we're simply going to move forward so that we can go ahead and begin to create this document now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to reset this brush here to a different size so let's go ahead and move this up to a 15 diameter and be very precise with this make sure it's a 15 uh, diameter pixel and 100 percent hardness and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, drag a uh, paintbrush down the middle of this document and we're going to do that uh, by holding down the shift key and then dragging straight down to the bottom of the document now we're going to create a new layer and we are going to uh, drag a horizontal line through the center of this document and hold down the shift key and drag across to the right and we're also going to drag around the outer edge of this document so let's quickly place our cursor in the top right hand corner hold down the shift key and notice we got a nice straight line there up to the top and I'm going to click and drag I didn't quite have the brush out far enough let's so I can see it here and hiding just a little bit behind that ruler we don't want to do that we want to have it nice and out by the ruler here that's a little bit too far out let's undo that and you can always zoom in and now we can uh, place that brush a little more accurately there we go and hold down the shift key and we're going to drag down the page all the way to the bottom and there we go, we we'll stop and let's reset lift off the shift key, hold down the shift key again and we're going to drag to the right and we're going to let off of the shift key, hold down the shift key and drag back up to the top all the way to the top and there we go, we've got our uh, Andy Warhol box cordoned off uh, perfectly, we can always come back redraw something we need to if we don't think we have a thick enough line we can always come back and redraw okay uh, I'll give more instructions on this in class so if you have any problems you have any questions you can always come to me and ask me how to uh, reset this uh, this page that we're doing if you make a mistake don't panic you can also read the handout I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here which I just did holding down the command key and the minus key good luck to you on this process if you have any questions come ask me in class or email me. Uh, good luck to you on this, this part of the project, and I'll see you in class.